It's now coming up on five hours since Trump becoming president. I've bunkered myself in my closet. I'm ready for any, any occurrence. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Hey all you man so skinnies, this is Conman101 and welcome to Would You Rather. I'm going to be uploading this video after I get back from a, a pep band that I'm going to be playing for. Uh, so you probably won't get this video until 9pm or from lucky 8.30pm. So I'm very sorry that I always upload too late. I really wish I could upload at like 3 a, or 3 p.m. because that would be a lot more, uh, you know, a lot more opportune because a lot more people would be up to watch it. Um, but I never seem to be able to uh, with school ending like right now uh, So I'm done with finals though, so that's a real relief uh, One announcement I did want to have um, I'm gonna be going to Twins Fest on Sunday I'm hopefully gonna be able to get a uh, vlog out But if I, I'm not able to then hopefully I will be able to uh, make you know pre-recorded video to show that day Right now it's three videos a week. It should be four videos a week, but it, right now it's three. So hopefully I'll be able to get out a video Sunday either way, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of record my experience at the Twins Fest because I feel like that would be really fun. There's, you know, there's autograph signing, there's like Fan Feud, which is like you actually get to play uh, games with the players themselves. Um, so that'll be really fun. So hopefully I'm able to record that. But if I'm not able to record that, uh, you know, what can you do? So. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Would You Rather today, so let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with like a really, a really unfortunate one right off the bat. Would you rather save the life of a starving African child that you will never meet or have an actual working lightsaber? That is no contest. I would pick saving the African child because one, I would probably kill myself if I had a lightsaber to be perfectly honest with you guys. And second, just because, I mean, it's a, it's a starving child. I mean, it would be difficult for me to say that I wouldn't, you know, that I would save myself over a starving child. Like, they're just so innocent and and harmless and they, if they needed my help, I would do anything to help them. We're actually putting uh, money toward a, a child in Ethiopia. Um, we give like $30 a month for that, so it's basically just a dollar a day. Um, and her name is Bereket Ayanu? I know her first name is Barricade, but I'm not sure about the last name. Um, it's really awesome to know that we're kind of helping her and sponsoring is actually the word I was looking for. Um, but anyway, I would definitely pick this one. Okay, it's only 60% of the people said they would starve this, save the starving child. That's just sad. Oh, okay, it took forever for me to realize that I was supposed to scroll down. Okay, would you rather take a European sightseeing vacation or a relaxing Caribbean vacation? Oh, this is a tough one because Europe is like an amazing place. My sister went to Italy and she said it was like an amazing experience and I've always kind of wanted to go to Norway because I'm like 27% like Norwegian. I'm actually a lot Norwegian and it would be uh, very interesting to see, you know, my heritage and where I came from and, and uh, just go, maybe go through a whole tour of Scandinavia because it seems a lot more exciting than most people I think it is. Caribbean vacation would be awesome too, although I'm not a big fan of the ocean, as I mentioned before, so that might not be the best idea, so I would probably go on a European sightseeing vacation because you go to a lot of different places and it's just really interesting seeing like the culture there. So yeah, I'd go for this one. Yeah, most people said 74% for Caribbean vacation, but I mean, hey, I, I'd much rather go on a vacation through a whole bunch of areas than just stay in one place the whole time and and just like lay there like I like to go up and do stuff during a vacation I'm not one of those people that just likes to lay down and relax so I would rather go on a vacation where I can actually do stuff would you rather legally change your last name to Hitler or never eat chocolate again I would rather never eat chocolate again for obvious reasons and that was almost a 50 50 split but I did have the majority there, 52% over 48%. So apparently people like chocolate. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? Probably my wedding, to, to be honest, but if, 
I don't know, I, I feel like if people showed up to my funeral just because they felt obligated, like they had to, then I would probably prefer re wedding, but I don't know, I wouldn't want like no one to show up at my funeral, so I'd probably go with no one showing up at my wedding. Okay, yeah, that did get the majority, but hey, wouldn't that suck to like have no one at your funeral? Go way back in time to meet your ancestors pre-1800s, or go way into the future and meet your great-grandchildren post-2200. So, I'm guessing this is like assuming that the uh, time paradox wouldn't like mess everything up like they always say in the uh, movies, but yes, that's a tough one. It really is. If I go into the future and meet my great-grandchildren, they would know how I died and they might tell me. And they might tell me a bunch of stuff that happened in my life and I wouldn't be able to go back, go and live it myself because if I already knew what happened to me, then I wouldn't, it wouldn't be exciting the first time uh, that I actually lived it. So I'd probably want to go back in time because like, I've always wanted to kind of go on like maybe Ancestry.com or something and, and kind of see where I came from. So meeting my ancestors would probably be uh, the best option for me. Whoa, I got the way minority there. 74% of the people would rather visit their children or great-grandchildren in the way future. I don't know, I just wouldn't want to go into the future and already know what happens to me. Would you rather live in a world where there were no problems or live in a world where you rule? Live in a world with no problems by far because if I was ruling the world, the rules would get screwed up big time. I am not a natural born leader. I am I'm the person that says okay you can be the leader pick me if you want to under pressure like I'm terrible under pressure I just totally fold uh, so I would definitely want to live in a world where there are no problems because you know there'd be world peace there wouldn't be any hunger yeah 66% of the people would rather actually no 66% of the people would live in a world where you rule that is just sad so you'd rather have complete control over the world with a bunch of problems in it than live in a world with no problems in it? That makes no sense to me. Would you rather live in Harry Potter's world or live a life of fame and wealth? I wouldn't want to live in Harry Potter's world because it seems like Harry Potter is getting attacked by something or getting threat or the people uh, living in Hogwarts or living pretty much anywhere in that world are in trouble like or in danger all the time. So I'd much rather live with fame and wealth even though I wouldn't really want that very much either um, because fame and wealth kind of changes you and I don't want to be changed but living in Harry Potter's world would kind of seem dangerous to me so I would pick fame and wealth okay yeah I got the majority for that one would you rather find true love or find 10 million dollars true love probably because 10 million dollars seems like a lot but money really can't buy you happiness that really is the truth um, oh my gosh, I just realized that I was looking at the wrong side of the camera this whole time, so I was just like looking in this direction and not even looking at you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Have I been doing that this whole time? Gosh, I, I feel like I'm, I'm looking at this side, but I should be looking right at the cameras. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I would rather find true love than 10 million dollars because money does not buy you happiness, and... It would really change you if you were really famous and really wealthy. I don't want to be changed, so I would much rather find true love. Yeah, 52% of the people said find true love. Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather be able to fly or read minds? I'd be, I'd rather fly. I would not want to know what people were thinking 24-7. That would just be embarrassing to them, embarrassing to me. Um, like, I'd rather not walk up to someone I had a crush on and then they'd say in their mind gosh I hate that Connor kid gosh I'm just really beating myself up today but like, seriously I, I would not want to read people's minds because what's in your mind is a private thing you, you think fast to yourself and if I knew everyone's secrets I would not be happy because those are they're entitled to their own secrets they're entitled to their own life and I wouldn't want to steal that from someone so I would much rather be able to fly because that'd be awesome anyway right 52% again. Gosh, why do so many people want to read other people's minds? That that would not be fun. Like, but, but is it like selective? Is it like selective, like, 
you can choose whose mind you want to read because if you just walked by anyone and anyone you met you could read everything they were saying I guess it would change things a little bit if I could choose like selective mind reading would you rather get a dream vacation for two weeks or spend five days with anyone in the world but you must stay in your hometown and there's a picture of Jennifer Lawrence there why why is there a picture of Jennifer Lawrence there um I would much rather go on a dream vacation for two weeks because even if I liked the person and I spent time with them I, I don't know if they didn't actually like me back then there would be no point in spending time with them but I, I would much rather get a dream vacation for two weeks than spend time with someone who I know doesn't really like me so go on a dream vacation 57% said that okay would you rather spend the day Surfing on the ocean or surfing on the internet surfing on the internet for by far I mean there's there's a lot more things I would rather do than surf on the internet, but surfing on the ocean you guys know I have a Terrible fear of the ocean. It's like really bad fear of the ocean um, I hate sharks. I hate pretty much anything in the ocean just knowing there's that anything could lurk up and grab you at any time even though it's very unlikely that a shark attack could happen that doesn't change anything. I would much rather surf the internet than just go on the liquid death that is the ocean. Would you rather be famous or be best friends with someone famous? I don't know. I wouldn't want to do either of those things. I wouldn't want to be like really famous, like have people follow me around everywhere. That would be nice for every once in a while if someone was following me around telling me that I was cool, but all the time that would be terrible. And then be the best friend to someone famous? If that famous person does something wrong, all of a sudden people are looking at you. So I wouldn't, I'm not even going to choose either of those because I would, I mean I'd rather be the friend of someone famous, but I'm not even going to choose either of those. Would you rather have more time or more money? I would rather have more time because, again, money doesn't really define a person. Once you spend all that money, then you look back at your life and what did you really do? There's actually a really good quote I found about that. Um, well, I didn't find it. I read it uh, in English class. It was from Walden by Henry David Thoreau. Okay, so here it is. It's, uh, I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately, to front only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what it had to teach, and not when I came to die, and discover that I had not lived. And that's actually a really impactful quote in my opinion, because it just shows you know, we spend too much time on the internet, you know, on social media, talking to people we're never going to meet. Um, I'm not talking about this. I mean, I'm talking about, like, the meaningless Snapchats and the meaningless posts. Like, this is a lot more meaningful because I'm actually talking to people who have an interest in what I'm saying. Um, but, like, people are on Instagram and on Snapchat taking pictures of themselves and taking pictures of themselves just all themselves, not spending time with their friends or anything else really, not spending time in nature and it just, this quote kind of shows that we need to live our lives for, and you know, just be ourselves, not conform to society because, you know, Henry David Thoreau was a nonconformist, which meant he didn't believe in, you know, conforming to the ways of society. Um, so we shouldn't conform to the ways of society, we should just be ourselves, um, just do you and you don't care about what anyone else thinks. Okay, so with that inspirational quote of the day, I, sh I should start inspirational quote of the day. Hey, leave it in the comments if you like that idea. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I always like doing these kinds of things because there are always funny ones in there. There are always impactful ones in there. You know, you learn a little bit more about me as it goes along. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side.